he's angry with me. Sorry I didn't believe you, Lou. You were right all along. Make it pact. Just like a stupid girl. Off sulking somewhere. Won't accept a stupid apology. Stop! And what? Pray are you? I, my, my name's Edmund. Is that how you address a queen? I am the queen of Narnia. I, I beg your pardon, your majesty. I didn't know. You didn't know? Not know the queen of Narnia. Ha! You shall know me better hereafter. I repeat the question, what are you? I, I'm sorry, your majesty. I'm still in school, but, but it's summer now. But what are you? A, a great, overgrown dwarf that has cut off his beard? <laughs> are you? No, your majesty. I've never had a beard. I'm a boy. A boy? A boy? You are a son of Adam. I see you are an idiot, whatever else you may be. Answer me now. Uh, are you human? Um, well, well, yes, your majesty. And how, pray, did you come to enter my dominions? I came through a wardrobe. A wardrobe? What do you mean? I mean that I opened the door and I found myself here. A door. A door from the world of men. I have heard such things. This may break all. But he is only one easily dealt with. My poor child, how cold you look. Come and sit here with me in the sledge. I shall put my mantle round you and we will talk. Something hot to drink? Oh, yes, please, Your Majesty. <coughs> to drink without eating. What would you best like to eat? Uh, oh, Turkish delight, Your Majesty, please, it's my favorite. Turkish delight, thank you. Do you live all alone in your world, son of Adam? Oh, no, I have two sisters and one brother. Two sons of Adam, two. The daughters of Eve. That's four of them. Four. Do all the people in your world know about Narnia? Oh, no. Only my brothers and my sisters know anything about it at all. That's four of them. Four. Does your majesty recall the prophecy about the four thrones of Caparavel? No. I hate that old prophecy. I have replaced it with a new one of my own. We have caught one of them, Gutskin. He is falling. Falling under my spell. Soon we shall capture all four. Son of Adam, I should so much like to meet your brother and your two sisters. Will you bring them to me? I'll try. Because if you did come back and bring them to my house, I'd be able to give you lots more Turkish delight. Well, why can't we go to your house now? It's a lovely place, my house. There are whole rooms full of Turkish delight. Whole rooms full? I have no children of my own, you see. I need a nice boy. He might bring up as a prince. He would be king of Narnia when I'm gone. As prince, he would wear a golden crown and eat Turkish delight all day long. Edmund, you are much the cleverest and handsomest boy I have ever met. I'd like to make you prince when you bring the others to visit me. But why? There's nothing special about them. 
Go along to your own country now and come to me another day with them. You understand, it's no good coming without them. No good. But I don't know my way home. I will show you. There stands the lamp, straight on. Beyond that is the way to the world of men. Now look the other way. Can you see the two hills rising above the trees? I, I think so. My house is between those two. Next time you come, look for those two hills and walk through the woods till you reach my house. But remember, bring the others with you. I would be very angry if you came alone. Very angry. <laughs> and by the way, you needn't mention me to them. That fawn of yours might have told your sister nasty stories about me. Nasty stories. Fawns will say anything, you know. Just lead them towards the two hills, and when you reach my house, say, let's see who lives here, or something like that. Oh, please, please, your majesty, please. Can I just <coughs> one more, one more piece of Turkish delight to eat on the way home? <laughs> no. You must wait until next time. 